Hello and welcome to the webinar series, Stewardship in Seconds. My name is Julie Zaruba Fountain and I'm the Wellness Coordinator at the College of St. Scholastica. Each webinar in this series focuses on a different aspect of WellU. Today's topic, desk exercises, falls under the aspect of getting fit. First, we'll start out with the background and benefits of stretching. The average worker spends about three hours a day sitting, and a lot of us probably spend a lot more time sitting. Long hours of occupational sitting have been linked to many health problems, including increases odds of being overweight or obese, increases the odds of having neck and shoulder problems, and increases chronic venous disease. Inconclusive evidence, whether or not occupational sitting is linked to back pain. So it may also be linked to back pain. So this is why it's so important to include some stretching and exercises throughout your day. Some of the benefits of stretching are it can help you relax. It reduces your chance of injury. It also can increase alertness by increasing blood flow, which means increasing oxygen flow. It also can reduce stress and tension and it can reduce anxiety. Before we get started into the stretching program, let's review, review a few implementation tips. First, you could ask your manager or supervisor to a commitment to dedicate breaks or some other time to stretching. It would only take about five minutes of stretching for each session. You could also track stretching on your calendar. You could also develop a buddy system with coworkers to keep you motivated. Lastly, you could try to make an appointment on Google to take five minutes of every hour for a stretch break. Here's some tips continued. First, you want to start out by consulting your physician before starting any new exercise program. Also, when you're holding the stretch, you want to move just to the point of tension to stop and hold that position. You don't want to force the position. Stretching shouldn't be painful. It should make you feel relaxed and refreshed. You want to also keep good form for the best possible effect and avoid potential injuries. Also relax and continue breathing while you stretch. Also dedicate each day to exercising, including a morning and afternoon stretch break. Now on to our five minute stretching program for neck, shoulders, and chest. Go ahead and join me in this program and you'll feel relaxed and refreshed after completing it. The first exercise is the head tilt. So sit all the way back in your chair with your head aligned with your body. Slowly push your ear towards your right shoulder and hold for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember to breathe, then tilt your head and lift and tilt. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you can pause the webinar here to repeat three times on each side. Next is the chin tuck. Slowly tilt your head forward to stretch the muscles in the back of your neck. Hold for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now pause the video here and repeat three times. Each time, remember to breathe. Now for the shoulder pull. Place your arm across your chest with your opposite hand on your elbow. Now gently pull as you breathe out Pull on that elbow towards your opposite shoulder. Hold for 10 seconds. Then repeat on the opposite side. Repeat this exercise with each arm two times. You can pause the video and repeat each exercise. Next is the back stretch, one of my favorites. Reach your left hand between your shoulder blades until you can feel a slight stretch in the back of your upper arm. Hold this exercise for two, 10 seconds. Change arms and repeat two times. 
Another shoulder exercise is the overhead stretch and front stretch. Interlace your fingers with your palms turned upwards above your head while stretching your arms out. Hold this for 10 seconds. The next step of this exercise is lowering your arms to the front, parallel with the floor. Your fingers are laced with your palms facing away from you. Stretch at shoulder level for 10 seconds and repeat this exercise. Shoulder rolls are a great way to loosen up the shoulders. Slowly roll your shoulders backward in five big circles. Then switch and repeat with rolls to the front five times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next is onto a chest expansion. So taking your hands behind your head. With your fingers interlaced behind your head, your elbows straight out to the sides and your upper body aligned, pull your shoulder blades towards each other and hold for 10 seconds. You'll want to repeat this exercise three times. Another chest stretch is on its way, so stand by your chair. Clasp your hands behind your back with your elbows turned inward. Raise your arms just to the point of a slight stretch toward the ceiling. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat three times. Now you can pause the video here and come back and when you have five more minutes, stretch your back, hands, and legs. Or you can continue to stretch your backs, hands, and legs in one continuous setting. This next program will take about five minutes to complete. First, we'll start with a torso twist, which is a back exercise. Cross your leg over your left, if it's comfortable, and rest your left forearm on the outside of your right thigh. Apply slow, steady pressure with your left forearm against your thigh, twisting your upper body to the right. While holding the stretch, look over your right shoulder, hold for 15 seconds. Then you'll want to repeat this exercise on the opposite side. Next is the back stretch. Sitting all the way back in your chair, you'll lean forward from the waist, placing your chest on the top of your thighs. Rest your hands in front of your feet and pull to your head between your knees. Hold for about 30 seconds. Place your hands on your thighs and push your upper body to a seated upright position. You can repeat this exercise two to three times. Um, depends on what you feel comfortable doing. Next is a hand exercise. This is really helpful for a lot of us that do a lot of typing throughout the day, you want to increase blood flow to those wrists and take care of your wrists. First, place your hands together with wrists bent. Gently push down the floor and hold for 10 seconds. Relax and repeat. Next, a simple wrist stretch. Hold an arm out in front of you. With the other hand, grab your knuckles and pull your wrist down for five seconds. You change hands and repeat three times. Next is onto leg exercises, which is a quad stretch using your chair and make sure if your chair has rollers that is anchored against the desk. You don't want that chair rolling away from you. Hold the top of your left foot with your hand and gently pull your heel towards the glutes. Your left knee should remain aligned with your right knee to create a stretch for the front of your thigh. You'll want to hold that for about 15 seconds. Then reverse legs and repeat. Another leg exercise is a calf stretch. Once again, make sure that chair is stable against your desk for support or anchored in some way. Stand with your body weight over your left leg. Extend your right foot in front of your left leg with your foot flexed. So that heel is extended, toe is up towards the ceiling. Lean forward slightly from the waist until a slight tension is felt in the back of your upper right leg. Hold for 15 seconds. Remember to continue to breathe through all of these exercises. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Repeat with the other leg. 
ankle rolls is our next leg exercise. Again, stabilize the chair, then lift your right foot from the floor, taking a nice deep breath, rotate it eight times to the right, breathe out, then rotate it to the left. Repeat on the other side for your left foot. Side bends is what's up next. So place your arms at your sides, bend to the left while sliding your hand down your leg. So you don't wanna lean forward or back. Keep that body straight up and down. You're just moving side to side. Hold for 15 seconds, continue to breathe, and repeat on the right side. Now that workout is complete. So some suggestions on how to include these exercises throughout the day are breaking up your work day by including these exercises. You wanna take five minutes of every hour to do some of these exercises. You can try to do a different batch of exercises within the next hour, for instance. You can mix and match movements to try to work the whole body every hour a little bit. These movements also should be fairly easy. You don't wanna to try to force anything. If it feels difficult, move on to another exercise. With time, your body will get used to the exercises and the movements, but don't force it. If you use Google, you can set an exercise appointment to every hour to remind yourself when to exercise. Remember, the end result, if done properly, exercising at your desk should make you feel better at the end of the day. Exercise is for you and makes you feel better. If you have any questions, you can go to our WellU website. And as mentioned previously, this webinar is part of the WellU Stewardship in Seconds webinar series. Be, to, be sure to check out the other topic areas, including living healthy, eating well, finding balance, managing money, practicing sustainability, and seeking spirituality. On a final note, take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. What can you do today to take care of your body? Could you perform a round of these DEX exercises right now? Could you set up an appointment in your Google Calendar to perform some tomorrow? Try it and see if you can continue the habit. Thanks again and be well.